Those winds will pick up a bit as we go throughout the afternoon. So again, that haziness to our skies once again, maybe a pop up shower off to our southeast primarily for some of you, but most of us staying dry and quiet. It's going to be a warm one, though. We pick up those winds a little bit and temperatures pushing into the upper 80s. So if you're heading to the lakeshore, know it will be foggy and hazy all day. Most of that fog again this morning, but waves around a foot or less all day long. Once we get into the overnight, we'll stay dry. Temperatures dipping back into the mid 60s throughout the weekend. We're going to continue to have scattered shower and storm chances. This is a look at Saturday. I know it's a holiday weekend. I want to cancel any plans, have a plan B, and keep an eye on radar with us. Download that Fox 17 mobile weather app right now so you can stay connected with us. I think a lot of our scattered showers and storms will stay primarily south of I-96. You can see this on future track. Even the higher instability, the severe weather chance is south of our viewing area. So that's why this southern push uh, is what we have, and primarily you folks along and south of I-96 will see the most chances. As we look at rainfall totals for Saturday and Sunday, this is also shown where those higher levels south of I-96 really only maybe a tenth of an inch possible north of I-96. So again, no cancel plans, just have that plan B in your back pocket just in case. Here's the next couple of days, a warm one today. Maybe you're heading to the Whitecaps game later on this evening. That hazy sunshine will be with you. Uh, we'll drop into the 70s during that seventh inning stretch. But as we take this forward, looking to the actual holiday on the third and the fourth, we're drying, pushing temperatures towards 90 degrees.